Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Easy Yeti and I am showing you today a Minecraft tutorial on how to make an automatic or rather semi-auto but pretty much automatic smelting system and this is a system I used with the automatic kelp farm which I have showcased or will be showcasing in a future video should be right soon after this but anyways uh, so what happens is with the kelp farm the kelp will go into this chest and then it'll get dropped into the hoppers that go into the furnace and then I will put fuel in these chests which go in the furnace also and once stuff is cooked it goes into this, into this chest it's really simple after you've played around with it and figured it out one time which I have but before it was confusing to me so what you do is you have the chest where the kelp is going or wherever your stuff you want to be cooked is going so you put your kelp in there and then you have a hopper below the chest connected to a furnace so I have it just going straight down into a furnace you could have the furnaces in front just as long as the hopper is below the chest and it's connected to the furnace as you can see because the point is into the furnace then you need to put a hopper connected to the furnace on the side or the back wherever as long as there's another hopper connected so I went to the side you can see because the points into the hopper and then you put a chest on top of those that's where your fuel is gonna go then below the um, furnaces you have to put two hoppers again and have them connecting into a chest so I have the chest in front and they're both pointed into the chest so let's test it out um, let me grab kelp as a uh, uh, stack so we got a stack of kelp let's get a stack of dried kelp blocks so we're gonna put a stack of kelp in we're gonna put 32 and 32 and then we're gonna put half a stack half a stack and then boom you can see that it's going to the hoppers which are dropping it into the furnaces for the kelp and then this hopper and chest are putting the kelp blocks in there and it's basically like infinite fuel so what I do is with my kelp farm the kelp automatically goes into this chest and then I have fuel in there from initially that I put in and it's cooking it and then after it gets cooked I'll come over here every so often take the dried kelp use a crafting table make it into uh, dried kelp blocks and then you just put half of my dried kelp blocks in this chest half in this chest and then go off my day and then just it's gonna be infinite in one day I'm gonna have unlimited uh, fuel for my house and whatnot and you can definitely expand this keep in mind you can expand this I just showed you the principles on how to do it and you can easily expand this and just go deeper and whatever however you want to do it you can do it just play around and creative I'd say before you do it in survival because it's much easier to figure it out here which is what I did so just play around and figure out how to do it if you want to make it bigger go right ahead but I like how this is symmetrical looking and I think it looks cool and it might even I like the chest in front. I'm not I've never looked at it below, but chest in front just looks nice. So that's all for today's tutorial video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you out. If you have any further questions or comments or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like for me to make for you guys. Or if you don't know how to do something, ask it and I might make a video. Just drop some suggestions down below and I love you guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.